Hi guys, it's Tony here. I already arrived to Copenhagen for Blast Fall Groups. This tournament is very special for us as we don't have much of a CST tournament experience except of in Sydney, which was, you know, um, also a refreshed, renewed roster. If you haven't seen the interview with our new opera, Wonderful, you, you need to check it out. We will leave the link somewhere here or you can just find it on our channel in previous videos. So I'm here alone this time without our beloved cameraman Daniel, uh, hopefully only for this tournament. So it's um, gonna be just me and this little guy this time. So expect the vlogs to be more informal, uh, hopefully cozy. Yeah, today we have media, uh, so I suggest you to uh, spend this day with us and I will really appreciate your support. Please uh, write something in comments, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, wish us luck because, yeah, because this, this is really important today. Yeah, have fun! So I'm already in Flair's hotel because I do not live here, I live nearby. And uh, first things first, practice. Uh, I will show you a little bit of our prep room. If you have seen our other vlogs from Copenhagen, you can tell that uh, not a lot changed. <laughs> I think we're in the same frack room on the same floor as always. So let's get into it. The only person is here is Igor. I guess we have another player with a, a mascot. This is a chicken. This little guy, Chumper Pumper, has a friend. This one! Write in comments uh, who do you vote for, who's better. We are going now to the Royal Arena for some media with. Um, Andrew, Iher, and Amiran. <laughs> We're going on by, by the shuttle, although the Royal Arena is right there. Do you want to walk? No, I no. We're going to shuttle. No, we're going to shuttle because we're we're lazy. Okay, see you in the arena. Andrew, how many times did you, have you been to Royal Arena? I think I played three times. Three? I think two, more. Two for sure, two. Was one was his guardian. One one was we won. Yes. So these two I remember for sure. I've been here more than two so times, I, mean, I guess. When we played on the stage directly. Ah. Oh, so yeah, because we are playing usually backstage. Yeah. Alexei, what did they ask you? Uh, I'm asking you a lot of questions about Simple and <laughs> this guy. What, what a surprise. <laughs> The questions they asked about simple, I answered, and uh, they were asking me how it feels to play with the new guy. You said, said not good. Oh, I think I said it's really nice. And <laughs> how's the new Navi feel? Mm -hmm. How did you feel when Sasha left and all this stuff? And yeah, just need to look at the future. Mm -hmm. How many times have you been to Royal Arena? One time in the arena. I believe one time we lost the groups. Uh, last time this tournament was here. We reached the playoffs and I believe we lost quarterfinals to face. So yeah, I made it to the stage and it was really nice. So I hope to make it again. How would you describe Copenhagen to people who have never been here but always watch this tournament, you know, back at home? My honest opinion, <laughs> I don't like it that much anymore. Anymore? But you did like it? I've been here, I believe, 10 times now, at least. Like six or seven for tournaments and three or two or three for boot camps. But the reason is, obviously, I don't get to enjoy the city that much. If I if I would, I would maybe enjoy it a bit more. But the other thing is that we're located kind of like in this area where there's a lot of uh, business stuff. The airport is really close mm -hmm. by. So if we were playing like uh, more cent central Copenhagen, I think it would be nicer. So overall, it's nice, but it reminds me of home, the weather and everything. So when we, when we were boot camping in Barcelona for two weeks, it's obviously nice 20 degree weather and seeing something new. <laughs> but if you haven't been here, then I then I recommend. Yeah, this uh, the downtown is uh, beautiful, the historical center. But after Barcelona, yes. this wind, I can only imagine. All right, yes. let's see what they they doing with our Igor. How did you like your bootcamp, by the way? Tell us the story. How how everything went? Bootcamp was good for two weeks. I enjoyed this time. I practice a lot. And do it Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> the main question is, did you feel the chemistry that should be in the team? Yes, but it's not uh, 
big games to on because like it's like only two weeks of yeah. mood camping and it's like it should spend some, a huge more time mm -hmm. like but I think on this tournament we'll have more and more for like every game. How are you doing Mihai? I'm good. I just did some uh, I presented the weather. It was bad. Presented the weather? Yes. On some maps, you'll see. Basically, they asked me and Kagan like favorite foods from here, favorite places, map. Like I said, you will see what I said there. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's maybe funny or not, but like for me, I had two places, and you will see what places. But you've been to Copenhagen before? No, I mean yes, but only to the hotel <laughs> and, and here. Yeah, and that's it. Tell me about your conclusions you made after bootcamp. Uh, what vibe did you experience during these two weeks in Barcelona? I mean, you can say that it's a totally different vibe because it was a new place for us to bootcamp because we were in Berlin, now we're in Barcelona, it's a bit warm and then I think Val Valerchik said once that it's kind of hard to practice because you have the sea Oh. And the beach close to you, and then if you think of like, oh, why are you here practicing out on the beach? Or we can go. Because it's also like it's uh, sunny outside. Mm -hmm. You can go there easily, let's say. But uh, but yeah, I mean it was it was good. Not gonna lie. In terms of teams, team wise, it was also good with good vibes. We had fun. I'm not sure we are ready on every map, 100, but we are here to compete mm -hmm. with what we have already. How would you describe uh, Igor's play style, wonderful play style, as uh, an over? Because uh, Sasha had his own way to play uh, as a sniper, as a player overall. And uh, obviously, when you add someone new to the team, it's, uh, it changes everything. So, what can you say about uh, the, the changes that happened on the server? With I, mean, the new I don't want to spoil a lot because you're gonna see it soon. But he is in his own play style. He is he likes to play passive. He likes to play aggressive in the same time. But yeah, he's, he's a smart guy. I didn't expect him to, to be that good with uh, comms, especially in English. Yes, I knew that uh, he was in Sprout with English teammates speaking, I mean. But still, like... We're talking about you. <laughs> but, but, um, yeah, he's, he's saying bad things about you. Not yes, only bad things. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, he's a president with his English and then I think it's good, it's very good. So tomorrow we were playing against Cloud9 in our first game and Valera is the only person left who played with uh, Electronica, yes. Boomich and Perfecto at the same time. So what do you think of before that game? I mean, we feel confident, especially that probably you can say that they don't have a proper offer. And then we have uh, we have uh, Igor. Uh, we might have that advantage because of that. Or maybe we, we, are, we don't because the open is yes, is not that impactful. But you know, it's gonna be a tough game. Like every game here, uh, probably Valerci will be nervous, no more than us. Or, or like excited, or extra excited. Or excited. So you know, like. So you never know. I hope it's gonna be a, a very good game. What are you going to do? We are going to be playing first a round of tic-tac-toe. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hey, cheers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, a little different to get uh, in each of the tiles. You have to do like someone who played on phase and was French that goes in that tile. Mm and someone who's over 30 and in-game leader that's down there, for example. Is the composition or we work together? You are playing against each other. So oh, oh. You, you take uh, turns. Oh no! And if you fail one, the turn goes to the next one. No! Let's do that one. That's fine. God damn! You're so emotional today, you stick. Yes, I'm very emotional. <laughs> well, not European player. I think there's one minute right now. No, not right now. You can go for right now. Simple. Yes? Yes? Oh, he plays for liquid, yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. This is god damn! I just saw... I saw Hiko in my mind. Hello, Valera. 
I won't. Uh, now is three o'clock, uh, half past three to be exactly. But uh, we've been here since one o'clock and you only arrived just now. Nobody wants to do the interviews with you this no. time and it's very unusual. Okay. What do you, why do you think is, uh, is that? I don't know. I'm actually happy about it. It's <laughs> I very know. nice because I, I went to mall, I went to barber shop as well. I think it's very nice. Yes, very fresh. that's what I said. I like your haircut. Yes, and uh, actually a lot of time. Mm -hmm. For the it's very nice, I like it. Okay, let's talk a little bit about everything that is happening now. Uh, you are the only one player left in the old school Navi squad back from old 2021. Yes. You're old school, like, you know, you were meme, like two years old. <laughs> yes, so you're the last one. How does it feel like? It feels like new steps, new... Challenges. Yes, new challenges in this life. Mm -hmm. Step by step moving forward. But is it hard for you emotionally? I cannot say it's like something hard because of course it's like a bit sad, but it's not hard because uh, it's life and we are moving like, mm -hmm. forward. It seemed like after our previous uh, changes, I mean, when Ime, Yustik, when uh, Alexi uh, came to the roster, it seemed like you had this fresh start for yourself and you gained uh, your old shape and you played better than ever. So uh, how do you feel now after the bootcamp with uh, another new player? Uh, does this boost your confidence, boost your game? How does it influence you game-wise? Uh, it's still a new game and we need everyone need more time. The bootcamp was good as well. Uh, we speak a lot. I mean, with the team more than usual because we have about the game or yes, yes, sure about the game because we have one more new player. Yeah, we had a lot of discussions on this bootcamp. Did anything change in the game uh, with the new over? Like any positions, any like overall vibe? Uh, uh, of did course, anything change? Uh, uh, Igor needs some experience, but uh, he's like learning, and I think he'll be good. Okay, Valera, what advice can you give to Igor before tomorrow's game here at Royal Arena? Focus on uh, full like macro picture to understand uh, where is the enemy and uh, be in the game because uh, it's very important for Oker to be in a uh, good time in right place. You know? Uh huh. In right time and right yes, place. Yes, yes. Tell me about the laser tag. So we played some laser tag today. Uh, it was five versus five. And uh, the teams were really interesting. We had team unicorns and the team blue. Uh, we had five unicorn costumes on. So me, Rain, Launders, Rez and Hazek all had unicorn costumes. You didn't say that you had unicorn co costumes. Really? Yes. They were a little tight on all Exciting. Did, did, they, did they let you take them uh, with you? You Wait, didn't I'm ask? I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> it's not coming out. <laughs> I thought you were thinking about something. No, no, I don't think. Uh, okay. So, bro, it's coming back. It's like... <laughs> I'm back. Team Unicorns won 3-0. Uh, I had mana in the match once, even though Axile from the enemy team was owning. Oh wait, I didn't tell the blue team. So the blue team was Axile, Flimsy, Tessas, Scrawny, and Boru. And uh, they took the L. I haven't not won a single round. I had a good performance at the first game, but the last two games, minus KD, so... But it was super fun, I, I am glad I blasted doing those kind of things. And, uh, good piece of cardio, Blast, thank you for joining us. What do you think about Cloud9's game? I don't know, they're not looking really solid, but how solid are we? Uh, we just changed the player. That is the question. We'll see how it goes, uh, I saw... Some people have Cloud9 as the favorites, not some, but the majority of people have Cloud9 as the favorites. But it's fine. Being as a dunderlog is fun, I did it all my life. You know how it feels? That I'm being called by, uh, by a teacher. So when you're going down the hall, you're going to like, uh, like a lesson. And then you have a teacher in front and a teacher in the back, so you don't get lost, you don't go anywhere. <laughs> Your shoes are making the sound. So we're like in primary school, right? Yes. VIP area. God this is for us. And up. Action. <laughs> Savage. Nine. Three, two, one, cheer. Nine. Did you feel like family? No. <laughs> what the fuck do you, what do you mean? How? How have you, ah oh, man, what, you're just ruining it. 
it's all natural. Yeah. <laughs> all natural. He looks so natural and natural. Yes, it is. Alexi yeah. boss. He does, he does. Yeah. <laughs> Alexi, you should take this chair with you to home because it fits you well. Yeah. I wonder if they're selling it. We can we can steal it. Nice. Good stuff. how do you feel? Good. Tired? I didn't, no. No? Okay, that's good. That's good. Content creating. <laughs> Music has pretty uh, decent um, cameraman skills. Yes, so not only me should be afraid, <laughs> but only all, also a cameraman I'm gonna Daniel. I'm going to overtake my co-host, host, cameraman, photo, everything. Go ahead. You now you're a model. You should slay, slay, slay. <laughs> so guys, I'm uh, doing uh, SSDs. Some of them already finished, some of them have some problems, as always, before the start of the tournament. Tomorrow we have our game, I believe we're playing second, against Cloud9. Uh, so yeah, next we're gonna get, get some dinner and uh, rest till tomorrow's game. So while I'm waiting for the guys, I wanted to remind you that we added a reputation system in NaviClan. Now you can provide a feedback about players without creating a special report on our website. See how the system works in a short video that you can find in the description and join Navi on Facebook. Hi guys, new day, first game tour in Blast Hall Finals. We are facing Cloud9 today. An interesting game for many, many reasons. We're already at Royal Arena backstage. Um, guys are preparing. We are waiting till the phase and AP game will end. Oh, let's see what our guys are doing. Valeri, tell me about the, the maps. What did you pick for today's uh, big game? The big Anubis, the big ancient, it's all to the turn. Anubis, Ancient, Inferno. All right, all right, we love Anubis. It was our pick, right? Ancient. We love Ancient also. Yes? <laughs> so, so it depends on the mood. Practice. No, it depends on our practice. On the Have you seen Cloud9 playing Ancient? Yeah, the actually I like this one. You're in a good mood. I like that. What, do, what can you say about your teammates? How did you spend the first uh, part of the day? Like, you woke up, you okay. went to breakfast. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, I woke up. 8.40 uh -huh. uh, after we have we had uh, some ball with team to Starbucks uh, and after we had some discussion like so we did uh -huh. some words after uh, just preparing for the match Whoop. I'm right handed so that's why I didn't catch it let me try let me try give me the again Hey! That's fun. Oh, James Banks! Hello! How are you? You good? I'm good, I'm good. I'm here alone without the cameraman. <laughs> right, we are going outside. We're still waiting till the end of the NAP game. Then we have 25 minutes in between. Have we ever done it before? No. Do I enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> I saved Ami. Oh my god, I'm so weak. <gasps> Be careful. Oh, that was. I was afraid of that. We lost the ball. No. Yay! <laughs> Too much drama. Too much drama. Meep just lost their game. His face is too old. I feel bad for Danya. Let's fucking do it! <laughs> Did you enjoy it, Igor? <laughs> Alright, good luck, guys! Sniping away at it here in the middle. They're gonna find the kill on Electronic. It's Alexi with a double opening. It's looking more and more unlikely here. The bomb set up towards A. He's not even flashed. Alexi B confirms they're coming in towards him. He gets a reload in. He's got backup as well in the form of him. And there should be no problem here whatsoever. Clean sweep.
Redfall to be tested here. First clutch for the new member of Na'Vi. Yeah, it's the right idea, but he isn't actually. Oh, we didn't check it fully, and he's still going to get the kill. Just barely. Looks for the headshot, oh. and he's going to get it on Hobbit as well. That's a big clutch. He just saved Navi. Maybe not. Electronic's going to get a kill there. Wonderful. Lands another shot, and he's ready. Down towards Dark. He gets the shot. They'll change their minds, but yeah, they're gonna go for it here. Bits with the opening kill taking down Exile. It's a start. Navi looking to win the pistol here. Bit with the double, but now oh. Oh, see. oh, what a headshot! He spun around, running out of bullets, but JL to the rescue. Cracking openings in this particular game. It's sick, isn't it? Boomage very low on health, but the bomb already planted here. They're gonna get Boomage, but that's a really fast bomb plant. They are under pressure right now. Otherwise, Cloud9 will walk away with the Electronic back in action. He's going to get another kill. Hobbit with the triple and Electronic. So in between maps, we're going outside to breathe some air. Ursula has some kind of a plan for the guys. Hopefully it will help. We almost did it. Almost, yeah, but it was good. I mean, how would you rate Eher's debut? It's fine. It could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse? I yeah, think it's I think pretty he, good. He played, compared to what we've saw on, on practices, I think he was doing great. Yes. And for sure he can be much better, like in three months, I think. He was Imagine like, this is your, like first map on the, the tournament with, yeah. with us, so... Yeah. Next is Ancient. Oh, I love Ancient. Aggressive Valerchik, I like it. All right. It's a bit of a nightmare, surely. He gets a good headshot there, but he's running out of space, and Boomich will put him out of his misery. It's Ima, though. It was more my idea, but he, he humored me. He dealt with me for a second, and it's going to be Alexi B. Survive with two players intact. Apparently not. Oh. Great shot from JL. He just ran and shot, and Perfecto's in some trouble here. 18 seconds on the clock, it's going to be down to the wire, this one. They're really running it low. Wonderful, with a good shot taking down Axile. A little bit of a spray, Perfecto goes down, and Emma to close out the round. An 8-4 to four finish. That, that's something you do when you know how the other player plays, and you just have that in the back of your mind. What a sick little exchange there. Bombs being planted, but... Perfecto gets the kill off bit, and it leaves JL alone. One versus three, he's good for the first one. The bomb planted, not in the greatest position, but he can make it work here. Just checking it out. He steps into the line of fire and it's Boomish to go down next. Grenade around the corner. Perfecto gets tagged by a jail in the one button. Ah! Let's go. Come on, boys. It's still our fucking game. They're controlling donuts, so they know they can plant on that side. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think it's safe. Yes, it is. Yes, it is safe. Woohoo! Yay! Good job, guys! Very thank you. Meanwhile, we're watching our Dota Academy plane. <laughs> Supporting them. So we have CS2 Academy and Dota Academy. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Third map is Inferno. Nervous, of course. Two very close maps and we're waiting till the third one. But so far, I think that we all can say and degree that everything is going better than some expected. As for the first game, excited. Uh, we are already going to the uh, player zone. Igor, do you like Inferno? Of course you like Inferno. There they are. Let's fuck it! Good luck, boys! What do you think about Wonderful's performance? Wonderful? Wonderful's in God mode. Yeah, I like this. He's a good kid. Young, you know, Blade can work with him. Um, we need some more time. I can handle some losses. I don't mind that. It's not the end of the world. We can, we can. We can take the losses where we rebuild. But after this game, we need to win those. So I want to see us at least go to the arena. Do you know that the, this is the second best debut in Navi's history? Who is the first? Perfecto. 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 Perfec
Yeah. So yeah, that's a fun fact, but we believe you guys, right? <laughs> He's always just been such a frustrating opponent, Boomich. Especially when he's when he's sort of paired up with more. Oh, oh okay, there we go. So, Electronic, what have you got for us? A masterclass and an A defense, or only a single frag? It's going to be Bit who keeps things very uncomfortable. Three kills on him. Bit in the pit, looking fit for a head. Nice. That was Make the stick round as expensive as possible. This kill might turn the tides of battle, but it looks like it's Na'Vi. All right, now we are into the final round of this first half, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful start at the AWP. What the helmet is well. He loves going down at the top of banana, bro. But yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe that that was the intention, but uh, it looks like it's all in vain, Anders. It's going to be a five versus two now. Vitality and Heroic, both in new lineups as well, Anders. Mezzi joining the ranks. That that game is going to be really, really interesting. I really love that. So the smoke, Jail picking up the kill. And we're down to 10 seconds. Nobody knows what's actually happening inside of the smoke any longer. Axel just waiting. <laughs> Eventually, he's going to go down. <laughs> I do like it. Oh, and Hobbit actually gets the kill. I was going to say, they, they only halfway follow through. It was only Electronic that really wanted to follow through on that one. The spray down for him. It's even better than last time. Nice! Nice! Come on, boys! And JL couldn't make up for it either. Now, wonderful. You already know what's coming. There's nothing to salvage this one. They know that he's out here. And with the bomb planted already, it's a matter of time. You're it. Sadly, didn't want Inferno. It was again so close, so many good rounds in the end. But no, Victor, what, what, what went wrong in Inferno? Um, I think we just got into the game a bit too late and we lost both pistols, so it was really hard to uh, get some momentum hope. going. Yeah. We, we had hope in the, at the yeah, end. Yeah, in the end it was really good, but maybe it was just too late. What conclusions do you think we can make after this best of three first for us in this roster? I think we just need to go back to the drawing board and fix the mistakes and for the next game, which for sure will be more sharp. Uh, basically, we are here to learn, mostly. So all these official games, the more maps we play, the more rounds we play, there is more to analyze and more mistakes to fix. Yes, yes. The losses, they, they learn us more than victories. Yeah, right? for sure. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go see what boys are doing. Yes, that's what was fucking clean. There's five flashes for going legs. Fuck. That's why we have mental coach here. <laughs> <laughs> if I was there and I fucked up, okay? My bad. It is, it's okay to feel that, Eustic. It's okay to feel that? That. Ah, that. <laughs> well, fucking shit. We have an IP next? Oh, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> we have an IP next. Fighting against our brother, Patrick. But you, Eustick, you were amazing. Yes. So many moments from you, especially on Ancient. Ancient? Or Anubis? Yes. When he has those fucking moments. Yes, this is the thing that you need to remember. Yes. You know what I remember? The rush <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. It is better than some expected, Eustick. Not me, not me, the fans, the, the critics, you know? The critics? The critics, the ha critics. haters. Haters gonna hate, but we were good, I think. For the I first should have grabbed a little bit. It should have been a two -hole. Yeah, yes, but. Yes, but we were from the stage. But and the thing covered. is, that the thing is that you thought it would not be that close. Huh? You did? He did? I mean, <gasps> okay, like, like overall, <laughs> yes, yes, I agree, I agree. Yeah. Right guys, this is it for today. Uh, tomorrow we will face NIP. I think you will be seeing this vlog right before that game. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please support us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will be uh, filming the outro in front of the arena.
there's gonna be the stage they're be building it right now so please subscribe to the channel like this video like something write something in the comments uh, we really need your support as always but this time especially whew, we're going to hotel to have some rest bye love you